Like, if you really want to know what zero fucks giving look like, you got to really fuck with somebody who fuck with themselves. That's number one. <laughs> That's the number one step right there. If you really want to know what that fucking bitch look like, you got to fuck with somebody who fuck with themselves. And I mean heavy on the I fuck with me. Not that little watered down version of I fuck with me. And here it is, y'all so quick to assume just because a person is so quick to cut you the fuck off. Oh, they never cared in the first place. That's be the first thing that you motherfuckers say out your mouth. And the whole time is just like, no, bitch, I care about me enough to not allow you to treat me the way you've been out here treating everybody else. Might be the lesson and that motherfucking blessing, bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes people have a dual purpose in your motherfucking life. I'm being honest. When that shit no longer look beneficial to me, I get the fuck out of there. I don't, I don't stick around. See, I don't know what toxic look like because I don't stick around to fucking find out. I don't know what it feel like because I love me too much. What the fuck I look like entertaining something that's toxic that's going to destroy me. And I love the fuck out of me. Get the fuck out of here. That, that go against, that's, that's counterproductive if you ask me. <laughs> a lot of you motherfuckers, you can't love yourself if you sitting around a motherfucker waiting for them to change and shit. You understand? Now how about, how about I be the change in your motherfucking life? Let me find something else to fuck to do with mine and you go ahead and there's no hard feelings. And that's the thing about it. I don't give a fuck if it's a nigga. I don't give a fuck if it's a bitch. I don't give a fuck if it's a family member. We could have came up the same motherfucking pussy. Fuck you.